is the last project in our art kit. If you could get out your Miro Fantasy Skyscapes, some crayons, I just chose primary colors, and then you can either get a die, um, looks like this, or you can cut up little strips of paper and number them from one to six. So I'm gonna follow this by, first I'm gonna just choose a number, I can fold these up, or just choose a number at random without looking. So I chose a number four. So I'm gonna go up here to my very first roll and come down to the number four. Then I'm going to draw this really interesting surreal shape, just like Miro did. And then I'm gonna try that again. So my second roll, I'm gonna choose, put this back in and shuffle them around and I'm gonna choose another number. Looks like I got a one this time. So now I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna draw this design. And Miro created these really interesting surrealist skyscapes um, and he overlapped his shapes and he created all different interesting little symbols. So I'm gonna keep repeating that until I get all the way to the sixth roll. So my next one is gonna be the third one and I picked a number three. So I'm gonna draw this funny mustache. And in fact, I'm gonna even change how I use my crayons to make them even more surreal looking. And you can use any colors that you'd like. You could even add some black into here until your design is completely covered up with shapes. So I'm gonna go all the way through and I find number five, my fourth roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this swirly. So I'm gonna pretend like I finished this whole, um, gone through all the rolls and I could even go back and maybe add some shapes that I really liked but I didn't actually get to roll. So I really like this circle one until I've created a whole skyscape. Now this is optional. If you still have any of this tissue paper left and your little sponge and your water, you can lay these on top. Just make sure you have something underneath your surface. This is my work table, so I'm not super worried about getting it messy. And I'm gonna take the water and I'm gonna just gently, this has secret paint inside of it because Miro did add some interesting colors. I'm just gonna gently put some water on top of here. And then I'm gonna let this dry for a bit. So we're gonna pretend like I'm speeding up the process. There's little, um, it's almost like watercolors in here. And you can try to overlap these to see if you can make new colors. Kind of place them in different spots. And you can use any kind of paper. I had a little bit of that textured paper left. So the longer you leave them on here to dry, the more color will come out. So you can either leave them on top or if you want to, you can, when they dry a little bit, you can peel them off and there'll be color underneath. And then you're gonna to wanna to put these somewhere where they don't stain your table because they do have paint inside. So I'm just gonna put a little scratch piece of paper down or even a little paper towel would work. And just plop those on this paper towel. 